today I want to show you my version of the very popular crab rangoons. You always find this in the Chinese restaurants in the United States, but not here in the Philippines. This used to be my favorite when I went to cooking school. Let's get started. For crab rangoons, you need the following ingredients. One cup cream cheese or 225 grams, eight to 12 pieces of crab sticks, shredded and chopped, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of sugar, one third cup of mayonnaise, one ton of dumpling wrappers. Sauce for the crab rangoons, three fourths cup of white sugar, one half cup of vinegar, one third cup pineapple juice, two teaspoons of soy sauce or liquid seasoning, one and a half tablespoon cornstarch, one fourth cup ketchup. You put together in the saucepan pineapple juice, vinegar, sugar. This is liquid seasoning, but you can use soy sauce, cornstarch, and ketchup. Ketchup is for color. You can use banana or you can use uh, tomato. For this recipe, if you don't like to make a sauce, you can use uh, one of the options is to use a regular sweet and sour sauce or if you want something that comes out of the bottle, you can use a sweet chili sauce, right? Then let's heat this. You bring this to a boil and once the mixture boils, the sauce thickens, it's done. You set it aside and then we will prepare the filling. Okay, the sauce is boiling now and it's slightly thick, so I can put this on. Right, we set this aside, then we prepare the filling. I have here cream cheese. Make your, sure your cream cheese is soft. If you have a mixer, you can mix this in the mixer. Then the, I have mayonnaise. Then I have sugar. Worcestershire sauce. soy sauce. I'm using a dark soy sauce now because I don't have a light soy sauce but light soy sauce would be better because I don't want the uh, mixture to be to get brown. Please use light soy sauce so it's whiter. This is about maybe uh, one and a half uh, teaspoon. You put water and then you do it this way, press this together and push it like that. This. So it, it meets in the center. the two ends together, press and push it towards the center and press the sides. Crab rangoons are very popular in Chinese restaurants in the US but this one is not, uh, you don't see that in the Chinese restaurants in the Philippines. It's not common. So press the ends then push it towards the center and then press the sides so they all stick together to form like a petal. Okay. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. Heat the oil to 300. 50 degrees maximum. You can start at uh, 320, 330. Give this a quick fry, maybe about uh, maybe one or two minutes. They cook very quickly because you only need to cook the wrapper. Everything inside is already cooked, so you don't have to worry about anything getting raw. And another variation of this is to use crab meat and corn 
You can also use crab meat and fresh mangoes. You can also use crab meat, fresh mangoes, and some celery. They go very well with cream cheese and mayonnaise. You keep it moving so the color is the same. I use a probe thermometer, but you can use any kind. You can take that out and you drain it. Don't put it one on top of the other. 